Hey guys, it's Julianne, and you're watching That World in Books. So, first things first, we are going to be talking about Empire of Storms. Empire of Storms has recently become my favorite book and my most hateful book. When I first read this book, when I didn't have it for myself, and I basically forced Alyssa to give it to me to read, uh, I basically skipped over the minor details and went on to the major ones. Now that I have the book for myself, I realize that I have so... I, I miss so many details. And I read it again last night and the right of fuels just came over me. So I suggest that you buckle your seatbelts, strap yourselves in, and get ready for Juliana's emotional ride. Okay, so I am going to be basically just going on a rant about this because I, right now, I told you, I just read it yesterday. I don't have any notes written down and if you guys hear some birds in the background, you guys know why I have birds. Yeah. And we should start. They shouldn't have left poor Dorian alone in Rifthold. They shouldn't have left him alone there. I knew something bad was going to happen and someone was going to have to go rescue him. I just didn't expect it to be Rowan. I thought it would be Manon, someone like that. But no, Rowan went to rescue him. And on the topic of me being right, I can't believe they left. I can't believe they left Dorian alone like that. Like, clearly something was going to happen. And, I mean, poor Dorian, he's already so, like, sadness filled. Does he need, like, another block on his blocks of sadness? I mean, like, no. And let's just talk about, while I'm talking about Dorian, let's talk about Dorian and Manon. Now, Manon, I wasn't really interested in her in Air of Fire, but as Queen of Shadows and Empire of Storms came along, I fell in love with her. <laughs> She's like the sassiest, like the second sassiest person like next to Aelin. And I love it. Absolutely love it. In Air of Fire, I kind of hated her. And... I basically almost skipped over the parts that had her story in it and that was yes actually stupid for me to do because then I had to go and reread the book for the Manon parts which I'm not complaining about because I love air fire and I learned that she became a softy well not a complete softy but with a Braxos and that cute little furry ball of beast I fell in love with Manon and in this book while they are on a ship, the characters are on a ship, Manon is deeply hurt and Abraxos came to the ship and landed her on there. They're both like really hurt and Dorian jumps into the water to save her. Now I find it cute that Abraxos is just like Oh, my master's hurt. Let me take her to Aelin, the witch's enemy. <sighs> but the thing is, I like this connection that they have because they are going to make really good allies in the next book. And I'm really excited for the joining of the 13 and Aelin's group. Now... <laughs> I shipped Dorian and Manon right from when they started talking. I just didn't know it would go down that far. If you know if you know what I'm talking about, I didn't know it would go down that far. And I was just fairly surprised because Dorian, he just got out of a deathly relationship with Sorsha. Or is it Sarsha? Sorsha? 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 Sorsha. Yeah, I think it's Sorsha. He just got out of a relationship with Sorsha and <laughs> she died. 
Oops. So I don't know if Dorian's going into this relationship like, oh, man and could die at any moment or this is just for fun, which I really hope it isn't because I'm a hardcore man and Dorian shipper. And I find it funny because Elin, if I would say she's acting a little jealous for my taste. She was just so I did. She was like, and I'm just like, dude, you got your immortal fae over there. Let Dorian be with his immortal witch. Okay. And on to another topic, which I am deeply obsessed about, is Rowan and Aelin. Now, Rowan and Aelin, they started off as hateful towards each other. An air of fire. I absolutely love that. But I was a hardcore um, Kale and Selena shipper. But when I met Rowan, I was just like, he's exactly the type of broodiness she needs. So I broke off my Kale ship and I went over to Rowan. But I had no idea how this was going to work out since he was basically like, he was blood sworn to Maeve. And I was just like, please, Sarah, <laughs> let him go. And turns out she let him go. So they went from a hateful like relationship to, um, I can deal with you, to it's complicated as we saw in Queen of Shadows, to getting married in Pyre of Storms. I was so surprised and I was speechless when he basically yelled, where's my wife? On page, what's it called? 670. He literally hisses, where is my wife? And at that moment, I just started bawling because Rowan already had lost a mate. And now he's gonna lose another one? I was just like, yeah, Sarah, no. You ain't gonna do this to my little bae, my bae, my bayful bae, and you're gonna take away his wife? I started bawling right there, and I have no doubt that Rowan is going to find Aelin and free him, because if Sarah doesn't let him do that, I am going to personally go over her house and set it on fire. Metamorphic. Is that the word for it? Everything just fell into place while Rowan was thinking about all the choices Aelin had made about um, find, like getting the money for Aiden's army, calling the other people for alliance, marrying Rowan so that Terrison could have a, a king when she left. She expected nobody to go after her, and I find that terribly wrong because every she went after everyone. In, la in the last book, when um, Lysandra got kidnapped, she literally went into rages to go find her. Dorian, she rescued. Kale, pff, I don't even have to say anything about this. Rowan? their mates so and Aiden her cousin so I can't believe that Aiden doesn't believe that anybody's gonna go after her and that's the only flaw that she had in her well-made plan and I absolutely loved it <laughs> I hated it and I loved it at the very same time now on to another couple or, I don't know if they're good. Eli and Lorcan. <laughs> Lorcan was a man beep, basically. In Queen of Shadows, he wouldn't stop bothering Aelin and Rowan. And I just wanted him to stop. And I find it completely funny in the eye of Elena that... Aelin gave Lorcan a fake one. 
and she said, and I quote, she said, Here's hoping you discover more creative terms than beep. You call me when you find this. With all my love, A-A-G. I love this relationship between Orkin and Aileen. <laughs> and I find, I find it completely funny because in the last book, um, Ellen set up a trap for Lorcan and she promised to cut off his manhood. I'm switching the topic, so let's go to, back to Elide and Lorcan. Elide started hating Lorcan from the second they met, and they had to pose as a man and wife. I shipped it, but I did it because Elide is such a sweet person, and then Lorcan's like this massive fey beast but I found I found it sweet because in the at the end of like in the middle of their journey together they started falling for each other but once Eli realized that he was basically going to he was calling Maeve to come capture Aelin she got so pissed but Lorcan felt so bad because like I told you in like another part of the video when Rowan said where is my wife he basically stumbled where he was and he was so sorry I would I would forgive him if I were there but then I don't know if I would and I really want you like to forgive him and I just want Maeve to be dead already <laughs> and through all throughout all of this I died okay no let's talk about Lysandra and Aiden their relationship is goals I love that they can see each other as equals and Lysandra she doesn't care the way she talks to him because she always tells him the truth and that makes me feel happy. I'm waiting for Aiden to realize that it was Aelin's fault that Lysandra had to do this. It wasn't Lysandra's fault because Lysandra doesn't serve Aiden. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong, sweetie Aiden. She serves Aelin, which has been her friend. So I really hope these people sort themselves out. They're my ride or die. Great shippingness. I feel very strongly about this book. It is my favorite young adult fiction series. And I will continue to follow it until the very end. That was my emotional ride of feels. I hope you guys enjoyed that book talk. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. Um, don't forget to follow me on social media, which will all be linked down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I think that is all. Sarah J Mass, thank you for writing this amazing book which I will forever cherish. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.